For CBS Sports, I'm Jorge on the and the top three teams in the Big 12 lost this weekend. What does that mean for the Jayhawks' quest for their 13th Big 12 title? That's why we're joined by CBS Sports college basketball writer Chip Patterson. Chip, you heard me mention there are three teams, uh, the top three teams rather, in the Big 12 losing. So what are the chances now that the Jayhawks get yet another conference title? Right now, I still think they're looking pretty good. You know, ultimately, it comes down to their personnel for me. I think that with Frank Mason, Devontae Graham, and Josh Jackson, that is the best trio that you're going to find in the entire Big 12. And in a lot of these clutch moments that are going to be coming up on Kansas' schedule, that's going to help them out. But very, very interesting to see Baylor. Obviously, they lost to Kansas last week. They've now lost two straight in Big 12 play. This is a key stretch for Baylor coming up in the next week. They've got uh, big games that will decide if they're going to be able to hang with Kansas. West Virginia has a couple of other losses that keep them uh, behind Kansas, at least by a step or two, but uh, they will get some opportunities down the stretch. Again, Baylor gets both Kansas and West Virginia in Waco, so they're the team to watch, but Kansas still the front runner in that Big 12 regular season title race. The Jayhawks looking for their 13th straight Big 12 title. Now, speaking of the Big 12, who else from that conference can jump into the big names? Well, I think that this is going to be a, a big spot also for the middle pack. Like, if those are your title contenders, the next teams are going to be the ones that are trying to get on the right side of the bubble. And the good news for them is that they all picked up quality wins for their NCAA tournament resume. Iowa State, of course, beating Kansas on the road. Kansas State, Oklahoma State, getting these road wins against quality teams. Uh, that's going to be able to help them when it comes time on Selection Sunday when you are a bubble team. Those wins are the kind of stuff that get you in the field of 68. We'll see if the Cowboys, Wildcats, or Cyclones can inch closer to the NCAA tournament. Thank you, Chip. And remember, for all things college basketball, make sure you keep it locked right here to CBS Sports.